Well, welcome back to the 4000 series series where we take a look at some of the 4000 series uh, CMOS devices. And today we're going to be looking at the CD4081, which is a quad two input AND gate. So that means, well, an AND, it adds two things together. So it needs two inputs to make an output. Um, and this one has four different AND gates in it. So that means we have two inputs over here and then one output on pin three. Currently we've got an LED hooked up to that. So I've got my two inputs on buttons there. And when I press both down, we get an illuminated LED. Let's have a little look at the circuit diagram for this. So it's a fairly simple circuit because AND gates are pretty simple. So an AND gate is essentially two inputs and one output. And so we've got those here. Now you can see we've got input one, input two, but I've labeled them A and B one uh, because down here you can see A and B two for the second AND gate, um, A and B three for the third and A and B four for the fourth. And the outputs are on either side right next to each other. So output one is just here on pin three. And then we've got pin 14 for VCC and pin seven for ground. Now, the way I've hooked up the buttons, let's just bring that in, is that they go to VCC. So um, down here, we've got input A with a 10K resistor to ground. Now it's important with CMOS devices that you don't leave input pins floating. That is not tied to VCC or tied to ground. And in this case, I want to pull it to ground. So I'm just using a 10K resistor. And then our button, which I've drawn badly here, is connected to VCC. And so uh, on the output, we've just got a, an LED, uh, fairly low current, 470 ohm resistor on there. And so that will light up when we have a result. And we can see that result from the truth table here. So the truth table essentially tells us what the behavior is going to be. So if uh, input A and B are both zero, then nothing is on the output. If input A is one and B is zero, we get nothing. The same here. So A is zero and B is one, we get nothing. But if A and B are one, then we get a one. So what would you use this for? Well, it gives you four of these little switches, but um, you could use it for a safety device. It could be that you need two contacts to be connected when you close the lid to a, uh, let's say a laser cutter. Um, you need to have two panels closed before you're able to turn the machine on. So it could be uh, there are two uh, mechanisms to lock the case. And once those two mechanisms are in place, like pressing two buttons down and then it will enable a relay or, or something similar. And the moment that is untrue, the moment our truth table isn't one one, then whatever it is can turn off. Um, I'm using these in a clock so that when one digit is a one uh, and another digit is a two or whatever it might be, then it will reset the clock. So let's say most of these ICs, counter IC, decade counter ICs will go up to nine, but let's say it's 59 minutes. You don't want it to go up to 90 minutes. And so you might reset it using one of these. All right, I'll speak to you again soon.